Hey folks, Eric Lehman here. You're watching my YouTube show in which my sentimental thoughts come from my heart. Also, one of my mental eyeballs shenanigans come from my brain. It's EML77 TV, episode 593. What's going on, everybody? Um, I'll tell you what's going on. Some huge news um, that affects the city of New Bedford, and I'll be honest with you. I don't like this, and uh, I think it sucks, but it is what it is. The uh, Portuguese feast that, was, that happens often on July 30th, um, to 31st to to August 2nd has been officially canceled. A lot of people seem to like this idea. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I don't like it. I don't. I think it sucks, and I'm not going to ask anybody to change that, um, to, to change that ruling or anything like that. I'm not going to do that. Don't worry about it. Um, I I understand we we have to be safe and all that, and it's fine. And um, when it comes to this whole pandemic thing, I don't know who to believe anymore. To be honest with you. I don't know who to believe anymore as far as, you know, this whole situation is concerned. I think it's whole, I think this whole thing reeks of uh, conspiracy. I think this whole thing reeks of dumb decisions made by our politicians from both sides, not just one side, but both sides, um, you know, from the president on down, on, on down, because that's why I hate, this is why I hate politics so much, because politicians think... They can run things the way they want it. I've hated it. I've hated, you know, I never wanted to be a politician, never have any desire to be a politician ever. I've, that's why I hated politics, because it divides the people, divides, you know, and it's just disrespectful. And, you know, and then they go over and they go to draconian lengths to destroy everything that we, not the, that we've worked for, destroy, you know, destroy all the freedoms that our men and women in our armed forces have died for. You know, I don't know who to believe anymore, so don't expect me to believe anything anymore in the news. I refuse to watch the news anymore. I refuse to talk, you know, I refuse to, uh, I'm going to ignore everything about this whole situation. I'm just going to do, I'm just going to obey the law, that's it. And I'll go vote, and that's it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want, you know, I, this whole thing stinks, okay? This whole thing really stinks. No um, Portuguese feast and possibly no Whale and Sea Festival. I'm very angry about this. I'm very upset about this. I know, you know, I'm very upset that we still on lockdown. We can't, you know, we have to wear masks and everything else. I'm still, I'm upset the whole thing. I think it's um, fear mongering started by the media. I'm sick and tired of the media. I'm sick and tired of, um, I'm just sick of the whole thing, to be honest with you. And uh, I never thought I would, it would, I would come to a come place like this. I'm trying to be calm, you know, be, be cold, calm, and happy. I'm not very happy about it. I refuse to accept any of this, and, but it is what it is. It is what it is, and I'm very, very infuriated by it. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm just going to, uh, you know, I'm, ju I'm just going to be very honest, and you know, just, you know, I am not, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's. I think it's the whole thing is stupid. Yeah, and, and yeah, you know, I'm just agree, you know. It's just that I'm very, very upset and very, uh, just, uh, you know, you know, I am not, you know, I'm, I'm just sick, I'm just sick of the whole thing. I'm just sick of the, this, of this, um, crap. I think it, I think this whole thing reeks of, uh, you know, conspiracy. I think this whole thing reeks, so it's, you know, this whole thing is, um, you know, uh, this whole thing is, you know, you know, cooked up by this whole thing has been cooked by, by, by the Democrats to discredit our president. You uh, know, instead of um, you know, that's why and, you know, and this is why you know I call them Democrats and Redumblicans because the fact is they're all stupid idiots. The, the, the politicians, I know some good, some good politicians out there, and I know uh, a friend of mine who um, who um, ran, who, who tried to run for uh, I think a state representative or something like that. My friend Rhonda, she's the only exception because she used, to, she used to go to my church. But all the other politicians in this world, uh, in this country, are just stupid, plain stupid. I don't care. I'm not a fan of any politician, you know. And it's like, you know, I'd rather have the three stooges run this country. That's how, you know, dig them up back up. And, you know, I, I don't care. Let, let Brock Lesnar run this country. I really don't care at this point. I'm just sick of it. Even our, even our mayor, it's like, you know, anybody don't have a brain in the world as of late? I mean, come on now. I mean, seriously? I mean, 
you know, I could easily blame China because they're the ones that started this whole crap, you know. You know what I'm saying? You know, everybody wants to be stupid idiots, you know. And, I, and if, you know, I feel like Chris Jericho. I heard just Chris Jericho. Even though he's Canadian, he should run this country. Now he can put every stupid idiot on the list. That's how I feel. I mean, it's just, it's just really ridiculous. You know, I'm really sorry, folks, who had to act like this, but so, I had to say something. I have to say something. It's like, it, it totally, it totally it sucks. It's stupid. It's, I, the whole thing, the whole thing just reeks. Just, the whole thing is just, I, I don't know. I, you know, you know, this summer's going to suck. The summer's going to suck. And this rumor has that snow is coming this Saturday. Well, the only good thing about it is the mall still closed and we don't have to, until May 18th to open the dang thing up. So, you know what? I say this. Let it snow. Keep everybody inside, for God's sakes. Although I may have to do a little shopping beforehand because, but then, but then, uh, but again, you know, but again, uh, I just, <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. You know, I'm trying to be, you know, happy and positive and everything else. It's very hard to do that when you two of your favorite events get canceled during this whole thing. And, you know, probably it took, it took that to just get me going. You know what I'm saying? But I do, however, like I said, the backup plan will be. Um, in honor of the Portuguese Feast and the Wednesday Festival, we're going to honor those dates by having an, a, an eight-game series between the Freetown Knights and the Dartmouth Dragons to do battle for the first ever South Coast Festival Cup Championship. Um, for my Big League Slugger Baseball, for my PlayStation 1. We're going to have some fun in there despite despite this, okay? Um, let me go back to my rant and raving thing before I... You know, it's, it's like the stupidest thing in the world. I mean, this summer is going to totally, totally suck. It's going to be suck, you know? Even Steve Meyer says a be premature. Uh, listen, they listen. The port, you know, people want to look out for our safety. That's fine. I accept that part. But doesn't mean with the with the Portuguese feast and Wales Sea Festival being canceled doesn't mean I have to like it. You know, people. You know, it's like you know, I don't want to be forced to like anything. Okay, I'm sick and tired of liking things because people want me to. All right, you know. When I chose when I chose to go to church, I I chose to praise and worship the Lord. I love the Lord. That, you know, that's that's given, right? That, you know, I'm not, I wasn't forced to. I I was willing to learn, you know, and that's what I did, you know. They, but what they thought that the best thing, that, that's the best thing that would happen in my life, you know. You know, it may feel like I was forced to, but you know what, though? I look at it like this, all right? This church is, the church that I went to has saved my life, you know. If it hadn't been for this church and the Lord, I would not be here today. So that's the thing that, you know, and that's why I, I felt, you know, I owe, I owe the Lord one, but whatever. Um, like I said, this is this whole COVID-19 thing is starting to um, starting to reek of heinosity, as Edge and Christian would say. Um, I'm trying to be funny about it at the same time, but it's hard to be have a sense of humor. And just, I think the whole thing stinks. I think it sucks. And, um, you know. I don't know, you know, I think I'm, bl I'm blaming all our politicians because they don't know, all our politicians because they, they, you know, they're so scared of their lives, like, okay, fine, yeah, you're scared, you know, I, 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 really, I really don't know at this moment, I really don't know who to trust, who to believe, all I know is I can trust God in this situation and that's it, but the fact of the matter is, is this as far as human beings on earth besides my own family, I don't know, I really don't know at this point, and just, it, it just irks me that, you know, yeah, we're about two months away from the whole Portuguese Feast Wellness City Festival thing, and then he decided to cancel it. Because what if things change by then, you know? I, you know, listen, I haven't seen a lot of protests uh, as far as here in the Bedford, but um, I know, you know, I'm not very happy about this. I mean, would, you know, it is a huge part of our economy here in the Bedford, uh, the Portuguese Feast is. But now it's going to get canceled. It's going to hurt our economy. I mean, it's going to hurt us. It's going to hurt the feast. It's going to hurt everything, you know. Well, see, festival gets canceled, same thing. It's going to hurt the festival. It's going to hurt everything. I mean, when we nearly canceled it back in 2014, it almost hurt the festival. We had to scale it down. That br Actually, it, the festival got hurt when the brawl happened. That brawl, that 23 person brawl, hurt the Wellness City Festival. And, it, you know, it hurt over the years. Now this whole... COVID-19 pandemic thing, you know, it's going to hurt it even worse. And, you know, that's the thing. And just, you know, our politicians don't even have a brain. I blame all our politicians for not getting up to speed of this, you know. But, and I mean both sides, all right. And then you got, um, you know, I can blame China too for this. You see, we're supposed to communicate. And, you know, 
because you know China's being very petty, in petty attitude. The politicians, you know, have their petty attitudes. The way, you know, they hate the way we run our country. So they're saying we're going to destroy it. That's the way China has been. Uh, the Chinese government has been thinking, and I'm not very happy about it, to be honest with you. And at that point, and just you know, um, you know, I felt like you know, sorry, I thought I heard somebody. I uh, just, you know, I'm really sorry, folks, for being like this, and just. <sighs> I'm trying to take a deep breath here. It's, it is not fun at all. I'm just, you know, I'm just not very happy about it. And, and more than likely, the Wednesday Festival will get canceled. And, you know, I'm just, I won't be very happy about that either. And, you know, I'm not accepting it and uh, refuse to accept it. But, you know, just because it's happened, it means I have to accept it. You know, I'm not going to. And I'm not going to accept any negativity anymore. I'm sick and tired of it. You know, it's like, oh, you have to accept it. Shut up. If I wanted to accept something, the only thing I accepted so far is the Lord Jesus Christ into my heart as my Lord and personal Savior. You don't like that, then you can go, sp then you can go spike a football into your face. Okay? That's how I feel. Um, you know, in fact, I don't like the fact that Tom Brady, you know, this is probably the worst year ever. I mean, first, you know, Mookie Betts has been traded, and then, and then all of a sudden the Patriots got knocked out of the playoffs. In the early in the early year, and then the Patriots got you know, and then and then the Patriots uh, you know lose Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski. We and Red Sox lose Mookie Betts, and then this and this whole pandemic thing happened. And it's ridiculous, and this is one of them. And now the Portuguese Feast and Wales City Festival get canceled. One of the most ridiculous. 2020, the first half of 2020 will be the most worst first half of 2020 ever. And I, you know, this is this is why I hate. You know, 2020 just made the list. Already, and it's really it's ridiculous. I mean, totally ridiculous um, ridiculousness going on in this world, and I don't know. You know, I'm, at this point, I really don't know. I just really do not know. I'm trying to keep it together. I'm trying to, not to go off on a tangent. If I if I swear, that means I'm not being angry the right way. Um, so I'm trying to refrain myself from really, you know. Plus, I think. Uh, YouTube and Twitter I started coming down on the swearing, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm very, very upset. I'm very, very angry about this, but you know, it is what it is. You know, and there's no choice but to, to, you know, you know, I don't like to accept it, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to. I mean, I mean the Portuguese feast, you know, I, my heart goes out to the, the Portuguese feast committee, the Madeira feast committee, um, and to the people. I know a couple of friends in my church do the dances in. At the feast, and um, you know, Paul and Lisa Valente, my heart goes out to them. You know, I know, I'm sure. Also, I be honest with you, I always look forward to going to the Wednesday Festival and the Portuguese Feast every year. And this is probably the first time in the history in New Bedford that everything's been canceled because of this pandemic thing. You know, I think it's all. I think it's all due to the politicians. I mean, I think the politicians are, you know, are trying to destroy. You know, it's not just here in the city and here in the state, but all in the in this country alone, trying to destroy what our forefathers had for us, and our forefathers must be rolling in their graves right now. You know, and that's why you know that's why I hate politics. That's why I don't like politicians anymore. I you know, I've disliked them even. I don't, I don't care. I'd rather watch an Al Snow match than watch anything po political on TV. That's how I feel about politics, man. You know. You know, it just, that's how, you know, I'm just, I think our politicians ruin, our, you know, you know, it's not just, a, not the pandemic virus that ruined the whole thing, it's our, politi our politicians, both sides of the fence, I'm not going to name any names, and the, um, and, and, the Ch and the Chinese government, our politicians and the Chinese government ruined this country. That's right, you know, I'm not going to blame one certain person, everybody's to blame. Everybody in there, and all of us are to blame too for voting, for voting as far as us Americans for voting these people in. All of us are to blame. If you think about it, this is all our fault. My fault, your fault, everyone's fault. You know? You know, it's the media's fault. Okay? I'm not going to blame one certain person. I'm blaming. Everyone in this country. Because we don't get our act to get together. This is effective of us. All right? 
This is all our fault because we're not getting our act straight and we acted nasty towards each other. We've been very angry towards each other. We're, you know, we're, being, we're caring, you know, we're uh, caring, you know, we're acting like total Karens and snowflakes and crap like that is because we don't take, you know, we take, when we take our grand, freedom for granted, this is why it's happened to us. You know? And everybody cry, you know, cries about Donald Trump all the time. Listen. Listen, do you think our other re recent presidents are perfect? Nope. Bill Clinton wasn't perfect. Ronald Reagan wasn't perfect. George Bush wasn't perfect. George W. Bush wasn't perfect. Barack Obama wasn't perfect. Any decision they made, those guys made over the years, we are not going to like it. Donald Trump's no different than any of those. All right? Our presidents of the past have made decisions that we didn't like. You know? It could be easy. We could easily blame our our president for this. We could easily do that. That's our knee jerk reaction of the media and of the people that don't don't like Trump or hate Trump. I'm not defending Trump by any stretch of imagination. I'm not a big fan of the guy, you know, some. But he is our president. I'm supposed to respect the office. But the fact of the matter is, is this: I blame all of us. We are in this predicament right now because of us, because of the way. We treat each other the way we treated our politicians and the way we treated all of our freedoms. I'm dead serious. That's why I'm not happy with any of this going on. That's why I don't know who to believe anymore. I'm very upset about this. I really am. You think this is easy talk for me to talk about this? I didn't want to talk about this, but... Unfortunately, I needed to let us all out. I could easily you know, rant and rave and you know scream like the ultimate warrior and just uh, you know go crazy and just you know throw stuff, swear up a storm, and have all the whole everybody in my house hearing it. All I say is all it was because of us stupid idiots in this country. We all made the list. Okay, we all made the list of Jericho. We're all the stupid idiots in this country. From politicians unto us regular citizens. Because we've taken everything for granted in this country. We've taken everything in life for granted. And me, I'll be guilty of that as well. People get upset about every little thing. People get shot about every little thing. Now we're in this predicament because, not because of the virus itself, because of the lies spread by the media and our politicians. And I mean politicians, I mean both sides. Democrats and Redumblicans. I don't know who to believe anymore. Well, I believe in the one almighty God that is going to get us through all this. I'll be, um, I'll be the first to admit it. This is not easy for me to do. But somebody had to say something. Somebody had to say the truth. I don't like this. Never have liked this. Never will like this. And down the road, we're going to pay for this. We're going to pay for this. It's going to cost us big time. Down the road. This will be a video that I never thought I would record. I do apologize to everyone out there that expected me to have some fun during this whole thing, but when your favorite event gets canceled, you finally, finally something snaps inside you and you have to say something. And, and believe me, believe me, far be it from me, I don't even want to talk about this sort of thing, but 
Unfortunately, somebody had to say something. I know no, there's not a lot of people that are going to like this rant that I have uh, decided to do, but um, I have to tell the truth. Sometimes the truth does hurt. Sometimes the truth does set you free as well. But I love all of my family and my friends. And Listen. We got, we got to hang in there, though. Yeah, and probably you'll think, you know, probably you all think must be thinking Eric's losing his pace and he's losing it. Yeah, kind of am, but I'm trying to keep I'm trying to keep it together so I can at least be strong for all my um uh, for my for all my uh, subscribers out there, for all my friends and family, and for everybody, you know. Am I going to be okay? I will be. Is that? I need to be honest with you guys. You know, I know this is not, this is probably not the easiest for me to even uh, do, but, uh, you know, I could easily say it. I'm sick and tired of all the trolls and haters, you know, making mama's basement jokes and crap like that, and people dissing me because, you know, I look different and I talk different, I act different, and yeah, I'm sick of, those, I'm sick of that too. But I've done too much of that for two years, between 2016 and 2018, when I had to deal with all the trolls on my old channel. Because I, I became friends with somebody that they don't like. That our friendship has nothing to do with what he's, what he's going, with the few that he has. If I mention his name, it will start up again. You know? And believe me, believe me, I'll be totally honest, it's not the easiest thing. But the good news is I already have plan B, um, and I have always had plan B in mind, which I'm going to do. And um, I'll probably, you know, get on top of things there. It's something, you know, you know, it's something that, um, something I need to get off my chest and, you know, I am, you know, I don't want to keep everything bottled up too much to the point where I just go flying off the handle and act like some crazy psycho kung fu dude, you know? But I really am sorry about saying all this, but I need to let this out. So if you guys feel the same way I do, great, you know. If you guys disagree with what I have to say, you know, we agree to disagree. This is, um, this is my opinion and I'm voicing it. It's because of that reason. You know what I mean? No, I mean. 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 <laughs> That's how I feel. That's how I feel. But anyways, I just praise God for what he's done for me, despite all this. The blessings he's given me and the friends he's given me. But uh, like I said, other than that, you know, so, so the Portuguese feast is off the table. That means I will do a four-game series for the... Um, South Coast Festival Cup Championship. I wouldn't be surprised if the Wales Sea Festival would not be far behind. And any festival that's happened over the summer will probably get canceled. And if that's the case, then expect the South Coast Festival Cup Championship to happen. It'll be a lot of fun. <coughs> Excuse me. So. But. I expect more um, Get These Thumbs fun on the next episodes. This is probably the only serious episode I would have to make. Cause I always try to bring the fun and entertainment on this channel. But. Uh, 
sometimes you you sometimes you have a lot on your chest and you need to get it out. And here I am. But I figured I'd, I'd better do it in a civil way. No swearing, no screaming, no ranting, and, uh, no uh, you know flailing the arms. And I'll be funny. No flailing the arms and rah, 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 like angry grandpa or like that Tampa Bay fan that is not very happy that they signed Tom Brady. Although, speaking of which, somebody's need to get that 24-7 title off Rob Gronkowski, the traitor. <clears throat> if I had the ability, I would have gone, I would have teleported to Tampa Bay, knock him out, pin him, and have our troop pin me and go, here's your title, I'm out of here, I'm going back to New Bedford. Boom, see ya. <laughs> I need to say something funny. <laughs> but, whatever. And, um, if you guys... <coughs> Jeepers. <coughs> oh man! And you probably need a drink after this. Don't worry, I don't have, I don't have the virus. Don't worry about it. We we'll get some pollens going around here. But whatever, you know. But um, just, you know, I'm very sorry. Once again, I'm really, really sorry about this, and it's not. Like I said, it's not been. Easy accepting the whole thing, but, you know, even though I refuse to accept it, but I'm just going to, I'm not going to go down, I'm not going to go July 30th or or in July, I'm not going to go to the park and go, hey, let's have some fun, well, see, festival, yay, no, I'm not going to do any of that. I'll just stay home and chill and just, um, like I said, I'll do my uh, game on here, and if the mall, if the mall opens up back up back by then, I'll probably work and just, you know. This whole thing could affect the mall as well, and uh, I'll be honest with you, you know, I'm not happy about that from one per- uh, from a customer's perspective, but from an employee's perspective, I don't mind it. If you know, because I've been very, you know, since 2014, I've been very, very frustrated working there, and uh, like I said, it has not been very easy, to say the least. But you know, it is what it is. You know, what can you do, right? You know. <laughs> what can you do? And um, so, <sighs> it isn't very easy. Um, so, I'm gonna make some changes. You know, I'm gonna make some changes in my. Uh, uh, excuse me. I don't really need that. And, um, we'll see. You still have to know the future is not going to be very, very bright for me at all. I really don't know how I feel about this whole thing, and I think it's an old thing sucks. The whole thing stinks. But, um, I gotta hang in there. I can't give up, though. I can't give up. I gotta keep going. I'll keep on going to the good Lord decides to uh, call me home. Don't know because you, you, you know tomorrow's not guaranteed. I want to worry about today. I want to worry about one day at a time. That's why I'm, you know I'm thinking that the, the cancellation of the feast is probably a little bit premature. But you know, be safe and sorry though. That's that's one thing I understand that, but I still think it's premature on. The, the feast committee's part, but and also on the politicians' part because they don't know. That's the problem. You know that's why I don't. That's why I, I refuse to believe anything. You know. You know that's why. You know CCG one one seven one. That's why I refuse to you know hear anything from him unless I hear it officially. Like I heard from the Portuguese feast committee officially. They have decided, according to New Bedford Guy, they decided to cancel the, the Portuguese fees until I hear from <clears throat> from Mike Sylvia, the Wellesley Festival president. I'm not going to believe it because I can't, I can't trust anybody anymore as far as this whole situation is concerned, except for one person, that's the Lord himself. That's why I'm, I'm very upset about this. I am. You know, <clears throat> I'm upset about the whole thing because I don't know who to believe. The Democrats, the Redumlicans, 
of politicians, the media, to me, the Democrats and Republicans not getting along, and the media really heightened, heightened all this crap, is the reason why we're in this situation. That's all I'm going to say. And that's all there is to it. That's the only time we've been ranting about politics on here, about this whole situation. It's my only episode. Better enjoy it. Better take it, take it, uh, take it, you know. And you, if you want to give me input and comments, you better be respectful because I will be deleting comments that are not disrespect, that are not respectful towards me. This is my opinion. So all I've got to say, just be respectful when you decide to comment on, my, on this video itself. Okay? That's it. That's all the time we have here. Episode 593 is complete. Like I said, I will probably get back to get these thumbs and everything else, and I will. Go, I'm going to plan on decorating some uh, some thumbnail special for the big league slugger baseball. I'll get these thumbs, and I'm going to do exactly that. All right. I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day, and uh, <clears throat> again, I'm sorry about this episode. It's a very tough one for me to do, but I figured I need to be honest with people and show my true feelings about this whole thing. All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Peace.